Hi, and welcome back everybody. In this lecture, we are going to be installing UiPath Studio on our machines. So we can start off by opening a browser. I'm going to open up Google Chrome, and then in the URL, I'm going to search uipath.com. And that'll take us to the official UiPath website. Now you'll see here, we have two buttons. We can either click this try UiPath free or the one at the top. So you can just click any of those and that'll take us to this page where we can register for a new user account. One thing I'd like to point out is that there are two different versions of the UiPath automation cloud. There's the enterprise version and there is the community version. You can see here the page it's currently on is for a 60 day trial of the enterprise version whereas we want to use the community version. Just to highlight the difference between the two, with the enterprise version, there are a few extra benefits. You can use a few extra products that are provided in the UiPath Automation Cloud that are not available in the community version. You also get 24 seven support from the UiPath team, whereas with the community version, you only get support on the forum. And there's an uptime guarantee on the UiPath Automation Cloud products like orchestrator, whereas there's not an uptime guarantee for the community version. There's also five attended licenses you get with the 60 day trial. You also get five unattended licenses, five test robots and five studio licenses. Whereas with the community version, you only get two attended licenses and one unattended license. So that's the main difference. And in terms of which one you're supposed to use, if your business, or if you're an individual or a business or a small business, and you make less than $5 million in annual revenue, and you have less than 250 users, meaning a physical or virtual machine, less than 250 of them, then you qualify for the community version. The community version is also used for educational purposes like this. In our case, we are going to be using the community version. So you can click this button. Just note that this look of this page often changes. So it might not have a button here saying get automation cloud for community. It might say something different. Maybe it might not even give you this option in the future, but for now we want to click on this community button. That'll take us to the next page where you'll see it gives us some details where we can start for free with the UiPath Automation Cloud. And this is what we want to do. There are also on-premises solutions that you could use, but we are going to be using the Automation Cloud. So you can create an account. You can either use Google or Microsoft, I am going to click continue with email and I'm going to enter an email address and a password. I'm going to click continue with email. So now it's telling us to verify your email and don't close this page. So let's go to my Gmail account in this email. I'm going to click verify email and the email is now verified. You're all set. Navigate back to the original signup page. So here we are back to the original signup page. Then I can enter my first name, last name and the country in which I'm located. So let's do that. First name, Leon. My last name is Petru and my country, there it is. And I'll then click next. Next, it's asking us to create a cloud organization. Here you can put the name of your business. If you're just an individual, like in my case that I'm doing now, you can just enter your surname, for example, and I'll click create organization. It's saying, please wait while we set things up for you. Great. There we are. This is now the automation cloud of the community version that we have just logged into. And you'll see here under orchestrator services, there's a tenant, which is called the default tenant. If there isn't one here, there'll be an option for you to create one. So please do create a service. It's super easy. You go to manage, you click add tenant and you just give it a name and then you create it. Let me just go back to the homepage. This is what you would click to log into your path orchestrator which is the cloud management console of UiPath. And we'll learn the details of UiPath Orchestrator later on in this course. Now, the next steps is we want to install a UiPath Studio onto your machines. So you'll see there's a button here which says download UiPath Studio. So you want to click that button and you'll see it's going to trigger the download. It is a one, one gigabyte file. So I'm just going to wait for that to finish downloading. So the installation has finished downloading, so you can either access it by clicking it directly over here, or you can open your downloads folder and it'll be over there. So I'm going to click on that and it should initiate the installer. 
There you go. And now you can see there are two options. You can either use the quick recommended version for community users, or you can use the custom for enterprise or advanced users. So in our case, since we're using the community version, we can just leave it on the default option. Click I accept the terms and then click install. Let's wait now for the products to install. Please note it can take some time for the software to install. You'll see it'll then give us the option to install the Chrome extension. It's telling us we must close all our Chrome processes, then click OK. I'm going to click close on my Chrome processes, and then I'm going to click OK. Then it's saying Chrome browser processes are still running. Do you want to force close them? I'll click OK. Great. So completed the UiPath setup. Now we can click this button to launch UiPath Studio. Great. So then it'll give us this pop-up where we need to sign in to get started. So you can leave this service URL as it is, and you can click the sign in button. Great. Then it'll open up Chrome and you'll see it'll give us this option to open up your path. So I'll click open your path. Okay. It's busy connecting to the tenants. I'll just give this time to load and you'll see then it gives us an option to either choose your path studio or your path studio X. The difference here is your path studio is used to build complex automations. Whereas you are part of Studio X is more for business users to develop simple automations with not as much coding knowledge required. We are going to be using your path Studio. If you don't have any coding experience, don't worry. Everything you're going to need to know, we are going to learn in this course. So click on your path Studio and it'll then open up. And there we are. So I'm just going to close this little pop-up. I'll click don't show again. And here we are, we have now officially installed UiPath Studio Community, and it should say UiPath Studio Community at the top here to confirm that you did install the correct one and you didn't accidentally install the enterprise version. The final check you need to do is you need to come to settings over here, go to design, and if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see there's an option here which says use modern for new projects. We wanna make sure that this is enabled and set to yes, it should be by default, but just in case it's not, make sure this is set to yes, because the new version of UiPath uses modern activities, and that is what we are going to be using for the seven bots we are going to be building. Right at the end of the course, I do include all the projects using the classic activities, meaning that this is disabled. So in this course, we're going to be learning both the modern design and the classic design. So that is UiPath Studio. I'm just gonna close everything. Just to summarize, there are three UiPath tools we are going to be interacting with. The one is UiPath Studio, which we can search by typing Studio, and there it is, UiPath Studio, and you can open it up like that. The second is UiPath Orchestrator or the Automation Cloud. For that, you want to go to Chrome, or you want to go to Browser, go to UiPath.com, click Sign In. Note the Sign In button's over there, and we are already signed in. So it should take us straight to the automation cloud. And then we can click on this orchestrator button here, or you can click on the default tenants. Either one should work. And then lastly, if I come here, click this little Chevron button, you'll see that there is an icon which says UiPath Assistant. So this is another desktop application provided by UiPath, which is used for running and triggering bots as an attended automation. So this will list all the processes you've connected to UiPath Orchestrator and you'd be able to trigger your bots directly from this little tool that lives here in your icon tray. So those are the three. This one's called UiPath Assistant. This one is called UiPath Orchestrator. And this one is called UiPath Studio. So now that we have installed UiPath Studio on your machines, in the next video, we will start by building our first bot.